You know, certain people treated the Ahlul Bayt with dhulm, and but what did Ahlul Bayt do? Treated their offspring, raised them as their own. But there are many issues, and guess what? Now let me build, this is the climb. I was painting a picture. Now how does this apply to the community right now? Okay, if we want to build a structure, we need bricks. First and foremost, we need bricks. We have the cinder blocks. And I'm painting an analogy. Each of these cinder blocks is a Muslim or a Muslim. We want to build a firm structure. Do we just stack those bricks? What do we need? We need cement. We need mortar. We need something to bind these bricks that gives these bricks the strength. So we don't just stack the bricks. Because no, no matter how beautiful we stack them, how close we stack them, and, 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 and all these other things we do, we when fall. a storm comes, fall. they're going to crumble. So we need, as we've mentioned, we need mortar, we need cement, something to bind these bricks. I just mentioned that each of these bricks I'm referring to mentions, represents rather, a Muslim or Muslim. And what makes us a strong community or not? What can bind us or not? Is akhlaq. The binding factor that can make a community tight and firm like a, like a structure, the cement that binds that, is good akhlaq. And the lack of that, we can see what the lack of that brings. Whether it's with our brothers and sisters who believe as we believe, or with others. What, you, what binds us, or what doesn't bind us, is akhlaq or lack thereof. How we deal with each other. Is it easy to greet our brother with a smile? If it was, we'd do it more. It shouldn't be, you know... When we meet our brother, the first question is, is everything okay? We're alive. We follow Ahl Bay. Everything should be great. But this akhlaq is what's needed to do this. So if you want to build a stronger household, because akhlaq is not void between husband and wife and children, no. Akhlaq is applied there first. That's the first community. And a lot of times, marital strife the root of it is poor clock in the house. And then we can branch it out. A lot of times we have communal strife because there's poor clock in the community. It's maybe we don't, maybe we interrupt each other while we're talking. That's an akhlaqi issue. Maybe we don't make excuses for each other. Maybe we don't pardon each other. And that's what they have made these things clear. So, if we want to strengthen our household, which I'm sure we do, if we want to strengthen our community, yes we do. If we want to strengthen our Islamic society in general, which we do, we must display a better akhlaq. And keep in mind, I'm going to say this in closing. If you want to know, and this is something that's very important, if you want to know what made the companions of Imam Hussein eligible, for being sacrificed because there were people who wanted to go to the desert and he turned them away. I'm talking Imam Hussein turned them away. <laughs> there were some who left. Everybody who was there was supposed to be there. People who weren't supposed to be there were not going to be there, whether they were lost, whether they were in jail, or whatever it was. The people who were sacrificed had to be the best sacrifice. So if we want to know what separated those companions with everyone else, because each and every one of them had a high level of akhlaq, bravery, uh, uh, generosity, uh, uh, yakin, uh, certainty, contentment, all of that. There's ten major akhlaq issues. There's narration about it. You can go and research it. And they had it. All, all related to akhlaq. All related to akhlaq. They had it. That's what made them eligible. That's what made them eligible to be sacrificed. Because Imam Hussein was like, was like Habir. He sacrificed the best of his companions. The best of his companions. And we ourselves should want to be like them. 
And we can. By displaying a better akhlaq and learning about karam al akhlaq. Obviously, the highest level of, 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 of akhlaq is itar. The highest level of akhlaq is itar. What is itar? Self sacrifice. The people who were in that <coughs> desert knew they weren't going to save Imam's life. They knew he wasn't going to become the ruler. But they gave themselves so that Imam could have a few more moments of life. He can live a little bit longer. That's it. I'm going to give my life so you can live longer. <coughs> and ithar, that ithar is the highest level of, of ikhla. One of the highest levels of ikhla. <laughs> اللهم اجعلنا من المؤمنين اللهم اجعلنا على صراط الحسين عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد احسنت سبحان الله